So I've come back out to uh, do some digging in the dump and uh, it's been a really long week of rain so the water's risen but not only that, they dumped more dirt. So um, water is a lot higher than I would like it to be but they've been dumping on the left side. I'll be digging on the right side so hopefully I can avoid the worst of their um, worst of the dirt. But um, yeah, I'm looking for some uh, nice 1890s bottles, hopefully. Uh, we're mostly finding some machine made, probably from the early 1900s. But we'll see when I get to it, and uh, I'll bring you up when I start digging. So, I got situated, and it's definitely washed out some more since last I was here. So before I start digging, I might as well see what some of this was. Most of it's probably going to be broken. But, um... It's always worth checking on camera just in case. See, this is kind of funny. Roots growing right through some broken bottles. <sighs> yeah, it's probably gonna be the case with most of the ones sticking out. But, uh. This one feels pretty intact. So, um, how am I gonna dig that one out? So get you uh, when I pull it out. So this will be the first two bottles of the day. Let's see if you can see it when I pull it out. All right, probably just a slick. Well, huh, got lucky this time, so it's not a slick. It says, Dr. Price's delicious flavoring extract. So yeah, I've definitely gotten this one before. Now the question is, it's pretty high up. Yeah, so it's machine made first bottle and uh, there is a bottle right next to it looks like it could be a Vaseline <laughs> nope <laughs> just a slick surprise there um, but yeah it's the first two bottles I'm gonna keep on digging I haven't even really started digging right, there's something up there that kind of interests me I don't know if you guys can see that Oh, okay, that's a, might be a neck to a bottle or a uh, door handle. I'll see, I'll try to pull that out. Grab my claw. It's really high up, so I don't really care about... Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. That's a handle. This is the lip. That could be a jug. Um, I'm going to try to be careful digging this out. I haven't found a jug in this dump yet intact, but... Uh, yeah, that's actually really exciting if that's intact. I'll get back to you guys. So, sadly, it was broken. And two, it's not even a jug. Um, it's glass, so it would've just been a big, big uh, glass container. Um, pretty modern too, just because of how high up it was. But jugs continue to be used till like around the 20s and even later. So there's always a chance you could find a jug at any level. But uh, yeah, kind of a disappointment. But you can see what I'm digging in right now or at least sitting in, it's just some water. So I'm gonna start digging there now. You have to be careful with ca uh, caving in like this. Most of this is natural caving in, but um, yeah, you don't want it to have things caving on top of you because that can be fatal. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna actually start digging. Most of this stuff I've just pulled out of the wall, like uh, that medicine right there. Hopefully the rest I'll actually dig up into. I just wanted to show you guys what this dump looks like. That dark gray layer, that's where the older bottles will be inside of or sitting right on top of. So once you get to that layer, there's not really a point to dig much deeper than that. I will be because there's always a chance with this dump. But um, the bottom will slowly ride up the bank. So the more you dig in, the higher up that should go. Um, which is good for me because that layer is right at the water line and if I were to push all this dirt away, water would flood in and it'll make it just that much harder to dig, dig and see. So uh, yeah, this the whole bank of this dump, of this creek really, that goes on for a really long time is just like this, just full of old bottles. So that's what my goal is, is to <laughs> dig as much of this up as I can, but I just reached this layer. So I'll bring you up when I find a bottle. Well, I hit some solid sounding glass a little harder than I wanted to. Um, it's going a little fast. You won't be able to see some of it right here. It's a pretty big bottle. Um, it's at a good level too. It's really deep. Oh, oh gosh. 
<laughs> this looks like it's just gonna end up being a ketchup. Sounds like a broken ketchup for that matter too. Oh, why does it have to be so deep for a ketchup bottle? <laughs> Turns out to be broken as well. Well, it's kind of sad, but hey, it was a bottle. It was at the correct layer. Um, so when you get this type of mud, oftentimes it's easier to find stuff just by feeling, like the way I'm doing it now, than it is to dig it. Um, it's because there's so much junk in here, so much iron, and a lot of the bottles are so compacted that you can oftentimes feel it a lot faster than you can see it. And if you hit it with the shovel a little too early, like here we go, we got a bottle, another bottle right here. But um, that feels really strange. Okay, well I'll try to get it up on camera. Not that you can see anything. But hopefully you'll be able to see me pull it up out of the water. There, you can see part of it right there. It has a triangular shape. Oh, it's broken. This, had, this was something good too. This was a... This was an embossed medicine. Uh, can't really see what it said. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, USA. Man, that would have been a really nice big bottle. <laughs> but you can see what I mean. You, I wouldn't have been able to see that. I would have only felt that. All of this. You just have to reach your hand down and feel it with gloves. And now you definitely want to wear cut resistant gloves, sort of like I'm doing, because even though this glass, a lot of it broke a long time ago, it can still be very sharp. And you see, I just pulled that ketchup and that broken med out of this tiny hole. You can just imagine how many bottles can be in this whole area. You just have to dig to get to them. So it's kind of crazy how you'll end up just starting to dig in this black goo. But I hit something pretty hard. <laughs> with my shovel while I was digging. I was kind of curious as to what it was. It definitely sounded like glass. Um, let's see, this is what I do. I might hit something with a shovel and then I just reach down in there with my hands to figure out where I hit it. Uh, this one seems to be stubborn on revealing where it was. Uh, let me grab my uh, claw. Maybe. Oh, here it is. Stuck it in the tree. Ugh. So I'm trying to keep my right hand nice and clean for you guys on the camera. Okay. You can hear stuff too. And that can help you figure out where some glass might be. Okay. So this sounds like what I hit right here. Alright. This looks like one of the, um... It's a slick medicine. It's, um got the measurements on the side so it's still a nice bottle because of the depth I I'm pretty sure it was blown yeah it's blown so it's a nice window bottle nothing on it maybe a few numbers on the bottom can't really might actually say something down there Red Cross wow it says Red Cross on it I didn't know they had um so yeah, you can find local of these where they have the stuff on the front. But I didn't know they could put stuff on the bottom like that. And it says Red Cross, which that's a really interesting bottle then. For the uh, non-profit Red Cross. Alright, I'll bring you up if I find the next bottle. Sometimes I really feel like I shouldn't set the camera down. Because right above that medicine is this amber something. And of course it's broken, but <laughs> I decided to at least pull it out on camera. Oh wow, that didn't wash it off at all. That would have, um... I actually don't know, because it's not a snuff bottle, because it's not square, but you can see how it curves in at the top. That would have been a really small, short bottle that probably didn't have any embossing on it. So, yeah, I have no idea what that is. But, uh... I can at least pull a few things out on... What? <laughs> Sometimes I just don't know what I find anymore. This is like an aluminum can. It has some writing on it right there. I don't know if you guys would be able to focus on that at all. But <clears throat> uh, yeah, I have, I have 
no earthly idea what that could have been. So, oh, here's a base to it. There was something else inside it. Might have been some sort of battery. Yeah. Huh. Okay. But you guys see pretty well because you have the light. But when I set the camera down, I can't see. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'll continue doing this one-handed or not. But, yeah, you can see how I'm just fishing around with my fingers. Hoping to grasp onto some glass or some bottle. Because if I dig with a shovel, it's pretty easy to hit it. And hit it hard enough to break. So I try to delicately sweep my hand to see if I feel anything that's not, you know, a root or something. But, um, looks like I'm going to have to resort back to the shovel. Just hopefully I don't uh, break anything, so. So I definitely feel the bottle down there this time. It feels like a medicine. Um, someone just came up to the edge of the creek and looked down. I don't know if they saw me or not. It sounded like he was on the phone. Uh, but okay, it's a little far back there. Um, I hit it with my shovel a couple times. I was hoping it was a little loose. I know you guys can't see anything but me reaching my hand underwater, but I don't know if that makes it interesting or not. Okay, so it's pretty stuck there, and it feels kind of big. I don't feel any embossing on this side, which can't really say it's a bad sign or a good sign, but I was hoping I could dig it up with my fingers, but I think not, so I'm going to keep on digging around it. Hopefully I'll pull it up and I'll bring you guys back when I do. So either this bottle's really big, <laughs> or it was really stuck. But I think I finally got it wiggling. And so, I'll, yeah, there we go. <sighs> okay, so now it was just a really big bottle. But I haven't felt anything on it, so it might be just a nice big slick medicine, which would be very depressing, but... <sighs> yep. And it's machine made. Dang, that's sad for being that deep. So I like big bottles, they're not that common to be intact in dumps like this, so I'm definitely going to keep it. But that would have been amazing if it was intact, but yeah, you could just see what I just did digging in that deep of water uh, up past my wrists in mud. <sighs> At least it keeps you cool, you don't really get hot in here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll try to bring you back once I find something else. I should just leave it on when I run my hand down because right when I set you down I ran my hand and I found another bottle. This one's round. <sighs> Pulling it up now. Oh no. This is so depressing. This looks like it was probably a slick sided coke. But his neck is broken off. <sighs> no, this is so sad. Look at it right there. Uh. Coca-Cola Bottling Company. I'll try to keep the other side off just to keep the, you know, the town that I'm in right now a little quiet, but that is just so sad because those are a nice bottle. And that was just sitting right there next to where I pulled this medicine out. So I'm gonna run my hand around. Maybe there'll be an intact one right next to it, but <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Of course, the, the slick-sided medicine that's big was broke. It was, was intact. And then the slick sided coke was broken. It's just my luck today, I think. Don't feel anything else sticking up. But one thing you have to, for me especially, is I'll be digging and throwing dirt up right here, and a lot of that dirt might have some small bottles, maybe some inks that I'll miss. Uh, once it rains, a lot of this will wash down the creek, and so I can see if I've missed anything from before. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll bring you up when I find the next bottle. Well, I didn't pull it on camera because, uh, Thought it was broken glass, but it's a nice little food jar here. Probably nothing on it. Also, what's nice being in the creek is that you just turn around and wash out the bottles. Machine made. Okay, it does say stuff on the bottom, I guess. Let's see if I can read it. WJ. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't the easiest thing to read. Uh, it's a patent date. Is it Heinz? Yeah, W.J. Heinz, so, you know, Heinz ketchup or something, Heinz mustard, I don't know, but some sort of food jar, probably not going to keep it, but, um, yeah, at least it was intact. It's just down in here, Ugh. but, yeah, the bad ones are intact, the good ones are broken. 
that's just how it works in dumps, I guess. That's, there's a reason why the rare ones are hard to find, but when you find them, they're all broken. Yeah, I'm just gonna run my hands on camera with the light on just in case something appears, but I don't feel it, so I'll go back to going with my shovel. Hopefully I don't bury myself alive. Definitely hit some glass down in here. Uh, really hard to reach my hand, but I feel it. Might be one of those small cylinder ones I found before. I probably should have dug out some before I started digging into this with my hands on camera, but <sighs> it's always a pain. All right, it's coming up. <sighs> it's a broken milk. You know, one of the weirdest things is in this dump, I have not found a single intact milk. This is pro uh, not just intact. I hardly find any milks in general, broken ones or intact. This is probably the closest one. And it was embossed. Probably just with like one pint liquid or something, but still, to have at least one milk out of this dump would be nice. Found just about everything else but this. Well, I kind of hit a dry spell over here and getting kind of tired. I don't know if it's a combination of the weather or just dehydrated or I was sick last week. I don't know. Um, and I started scratching around over here. There are some nice fragments of bottles, but, um, don't think I dug deep enough to find anything just yet, but let's see what I got so far. I got the um, this blown medicine with the red cross on the bottom. This, which I haven't actually washed off yet, but you guys seen it. It was one of the first bottles I pulled out. The um, Dr. Price's uh, delicious flavoring extract. Not a rare bottle, but still a bottle. Uh, this just blank, uh, I don't know, shoe polish jar, that lastly, which was sad, but at least was intact, <laughs> was this giant medicine, which will make a nice window bottle, so I'm definitely going to keep it. Um, I think I might be coming back out again tomorrow, actually, with one of my friends to dig around some, so I don't know if that video is going to come up soon, or if it'll come out next week or something, but um, I'm going to edit this one and get that out uh, probably tomorrow, so. Yeah, uh, I'll see you guys next time in the dump.